one, go. Welcome to Tiffin Canoe, qualification match 11. Harrison Boiler Products currently sitting in fifth overall. They're hoping to keep that ranking and we'll keep an eye on the Blue Alliance as they play today. The first 15 seconds of this match is, as of every match, is autonomous. As we move out of that period, the students will pick up their controllers and control their robots. Team 447 making their way off the charge station. They got additional points for making their way over there during the autonomous period. A lot of this game is picking up game pieces and placing it into the grid. The higher they score in the grid, the more points they'll find for their team. 4485 has a new grabber method, making quick use of it to pick up those cargo and make it way into their grid. Tossing it outside of the field of play at the moment. Team 447 placing a cone or attempting to on the second level of the grid. That would have scored them three points for their alliance if they are successfully completed it. Let's take a look. 292 Panther Tech swiftly placing it in the lower of the grid. Every location in the grid can gain points. It doesn't matter which game piece is being placed. It matters where it's being placed in the grid. Speaking of the grid, the teams are trying to make links. Links are a horizontal line of three pieces. They need five of those at the moment to get a ranking point, and the Red Alliance already has two of those. Currently about a minute remaining in the match. Seventeen forty-seven, making use of their loading zone. This is where the human player can enter cargo onto the field. That area is also protected, so a robot can only be in the zone of their color during the most of the match. We've now entered the end games. The last thirty seconds, the teams will make their way over to their charge station. The key word here is engaged. Engaged is when we'll see those lights light up, and they want additional points for when it's balanced. They have about 15 seconds remaining in this match in order to get that. Blue Alliance sitting pretty with two robots. We'll have to see if the Red Alliance can match them. It's looking good for both teams so far. The Red Alliance having some issues. They have five seconds. Three, two, one. They're balanced, and that's the end of our qualification match 11. Here are our scores for Washington match 11. The winner is the Blue Alliance with a score of 101, beating out the Red Alliance 65. Moving 292 Panther Tech into the 21st position, 1747 will decrease down to the 8th position, lowering their ranking point average.